just your first impression. What do you see in your mind's eye? Where are you? I'm seeing a mountain. I'm seeing a mountain. Very good. Describe this mountain for me. It's very high. Very high. Mm -hmm. It's sharp. I can see the tip. Mm -hmm. You see the tip of the mountain. What does it look like? It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's very steep. Mm -hmm. It seems to be sharp. The mountain is sharp. How far are you away from the mountain? Standing back, mm -hmm. looking out to it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you're on the ground looking up or perhaps on the same level as the mountain? I'm on the ground, I'm looking up. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at that mountain, do you feel that you have a body there? Does it feel like you have a physical body? What does it feel um, like? What does the observer feel like? Feels like I'm just seeing it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So as the observer of this mountain, you can now move closer perhaps or look around you to see what's around you, where you are. So tell me where it is that you are that you're observing this mountain. It seems to be like a forest. Mm -hmm. It's not trees, but it's like bushes. Mm -hmm. And there's something between me and that side. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's between you? I want to say it's sand. Mm -hmm. Always trust your first impression. Does it feel hot sand? It's warm. Mm -hmm. How far does this sand go? It's not very far. It's almost like it was a riverbed or mm -hmm. something, and I'm just right on the other side. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine is on the other side? Seems to be bushes. Mm -hmm. Are you able to small go? trees and small trees? Are you able to get to the other side? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what's on the other side. Allow yourself now to travel to the other side. And tell me what happens. Seems like the mountain's closer. I can't see the tip anymore. Mm -hmm. it seems like it's widened out or I can't see the sharp sides. But there's brush. I almost want to say it's brush in front of me. Mm -hmm. And as you're in this place, what emotions come up? How does this place feel to you? Alone. Alone. Mm -hmm. But it's like I know it. Mm -hmm. This is the place where you live? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're traveling through this place? I think I like the mountain. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself to get closer to the mountain. Close this scene now and allow yourself to be closer to that mountain. Be there now. Where are you? Bottom of the mountain. Mm -hmm. At the bottom. I want to go up. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I want to go up. Seems like I'm supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. And look down at the ground. Can you see your feet there? What's going to take you up that mountain? I think I'm floating. Ah, very good. So allow yourself to float and tell me how it feels. How 
does that feel as you float up to that mountain? It feels like I'm finding a way in. Mm -hmm. Inside the mountain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Describe everything that you see. The more you talk, the more you see. Seems like I got so close that was dark. I can't see the light coming from the other sides of the mountain like I was before. Mm -hmm. It's dark. It's almost like I'm gonna just go through. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens as you go through that mountain. What do you experience? coming through. And there's light coming through. Is there light inside of the mountain? It seems to be far back. Mm -hmm. I'm getting in more. Mm -hmm. Describe everything that you see and feel. The, the light is like midnight. It's like dusk. It's like what you see. The bluish light that has blue and gray and mm -hmm. it seems to be at the level I'm at but I seem to be going down so mm -hmm. and it's, it's staying with me but a little above. Mm -hmm. How does that light feel to you? It's soothing. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's dark there and that's making it lighter so I can see better. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a door. What is this door made out of? It's dark. Mm -hmm. It's Seems to be just a closed door, like a turned over mm -hmm. um, horseshoe. And it's a dark door, like inside a door. It's like it has a kind of a hanging over it. Mm -hmm. And there's a dark door, but I don't see that there's any knobs or mm -hmm. keyholes. Or well, you were able to go through the mountain. Let's see if you can go through that door. Allow yourself to just go through the door. The light is in front of the door now. Mm. What does that mean? I think it's bringing me there. Mm -hmm. As I get closer. Do you feel that light is guiding you? Yeah, it seems to be mm -hmm. going there before me. So describe what happens. I'm getting closer to the door. I'm right at the door. The light is bluer now. Mm -hmm. I seem to see light. There's like light coming through. Mm-hmm. Through the door? Yeah, it's not open, but it seems to be light going mm -hmm. around the top of, like, the cracks in the door. And I'm seeing bright light now. It's just bright light. I, I must be going through. Mm -hmm. The light is really bright. There was no opening. The door didn't open. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's bright. How does that light feel to you? It's warm. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's in this place. What makes you feel? It's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything around this light? It seems to be drawing me mm -hmm. in more. 
Allow yourself to be drawn in. Seems to be a moving between the blue light and the brighter light. They're meshing. Mm -hmm. Now the light's just bright. It's not like the sun, but it's, it's like a white light. Mm -hmm. It's almost like what you would see as an orb. Hmm. But in the center of it, there's a bright, bright light. There's an orb-like light. Then there's a center light. That's small, but it's bright. Does it move at all? Any movement to it? It did. It flashed, and now the center light is gone, and I'm getting a different light. Mm -hmm. It's sort of green, and it has rays going out. It's coming closer to me. Mm -hmm. How does this one feel? It just says that I know it. That you know it. I know it. Mm hmm Trust your impression. Who is it? What is this light? Tap into your knowing. It's... it's safe. It says I'm safe. Mm -hmm. It's it's safe. It says I'm safe. Good. That it's always been there. Mm -hmm. So let's connect with that light telepathically, mind to mind, soul to soul. What message does that light have for you? What comes to your mind? It's, it seems to be telling me that it's all well. Mm -hmm. That nothing's wrong. Mm -hmm. Why did this light bring you to this place to tell you this today? I have a safety with the mountain. It's something that I know. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this mountain. I've been there before. Mm -hmm. The light brings, brings me there. Mm -hmm. Is this mountain on planet Earth or elsewhere? I don't think it's Earth. Mm -hmm. Let's find out when it is that you visit this mountain. I think I'm supposed to be inside it. Mm -hmm. So let's find out why it is that you need to be inside this mountain. I think it's a holy place. Mm -hmm. So let's do some exploring. Let's ask this light if it would permit you to do an exploration of this mountain to find out what you need to know today. Will it guide you today? Yes. Very good. 
So allow yourself now to be taken to this holy place to get the answers to your questions, to find out why you need to be with this mountain. It energizes me. Mm. It replaces what's lost in me. Mm -hmm. Are you part of the elements of this mountain? Yes. Mm -hmm. I breathe with it. Mm -hmm. As being part of this mountain, I would think that stones would be very important to your being, and you would know about stones. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's find out and explore a little bit more about why you're in this mountain, what you're here to do and how you're to use this information. It's where I receive. Mm -hmm. Where communication comes. Mm -hmm. What there else? Are, there are crystals near me. Mm -hmm. I can't see them, but they're near me. Let's explore that a little bit more and allow those crystals to show themselves to you. Where one? Look at yourself and see what you look like. I'm a light. Mm -hmm. I'm bright light. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm part of the. I'm part of them. Mm -hmm. Part of the mountains. Part of them. Part of all of it. It's like feeding. Mm -hmm. So allow yourself now to feed from that mountain and receive that energy that you're there to receive today. It's filling me. Mm -hmm. Allow it to fill every part of your being. And describe to me how that feels. It's where I belong. Mm -hmm. It's where I belong. Tell me more. It makes me strong. Mm -hmm. And what happens when you're not near this mountain for a long time? It weakens me. Mm -hmm. the, str the strength is almost unbearable. Mm -hmm. It's like it's making me so strong that I can just feel it on the outside of me and the inside of me, all around me. Mm -hmm. It's almost numbing me. It's such a strength. It's almost numbing me. Mm -hmm. So I want that body to go ahead and absorb that strength. Allow it to reconstruct all the DNA with its strength. 
change all the memory in the body, reminding of how very powerful and strong you truly are. And allow yourself to pick, get bigger and bigger in that strength. And tell me, how big can you go? I command this place. Mm-hmm. My energy is this place. Mm-hmm. What do you call yourself as this place? Do you give yourself a name? Nima. Nima. Is this a male or female name? I'm female. Female. Nima. What aspects do you have? What are you made of? Light. 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 So, Nima, what happens next? What happens to you? I'm rising. Mm -hmm. I'm rising. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to? same time that I'm lightly rising, I seem to be solidifying. Mm -hmm. I think I'm lifting outside the mountain. What are you lifting Uh, into? I'm heavier. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to be heavy. Mm -hmm. Look at your body and see what you look like now. Forming. Mm-hmm. What are you forming into, Nima? My bottom half is getting heavy. Mm-hmm. Very heavy. Like I'm weight and it's beginning to be so heavy. Mm-hmm. What does this light look like now? Almost feeling like stone. Mm-hmm. Take a look at your your structure and tell me what it looks like. I think I'm beginning to be a part of the mountain. Mm-hmm. How does that feel, Nima? It's heavy. Mm -hmm. Where is this power of yours? Separating. Mm -hmm. It's like I had to be a part of it before I could move away from it. Mm -hmm. I'm pulling away. I'm heavy. I'm like, like I'm, I'm heavy. Mm-hmm. And what is the reason that you had to evolve in this way, Nima? In order to grow. In order to grow. What happens next to you? Becoming something. Mm-hmm. Something big. Mm-hmm. Describe what this big thing is that you're becoming now. It's growing from the bottom. It's like energy. Like energy. 
How does this energy feel compared to before? I was light before. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to be heavy. Heavy. Almost like I was turning to stone, but it didn't completely solidify. It just left me at a place in between. Mm -hmm. My lower half is seems more solid. So let's find out what happens to you, Nima. I'd like for you to go ahead and advance this very quickly and see what happens. It's a strange body, but I think I'm beginning to have a body of some kind. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. What does it look like? It's big. Mm -hmm. What's it made out of? It's mixed matter. Mixed matter. It's like I may be some tree matter. Mm -hmm. and some stone matter. Tree and stone together? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you move? I think I can, but I don't very much. Mm -hmm. I think I'm connected. Mm -hmm. What are you connected to? Be part of the trees. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Good. Mm -hmm. It's pulling. I'm being pulled down. Mm -hmm. Seems like I'm changing. What are you changing into now? it feel like? It feels like I'm a part of the ground. A part of the ground. I'm near the trees, but I don't think I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. Are you more solid than the trees? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you made out of stone? I think so, but it seems like if I want to move, I could. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it is that you move. I'm heavy. Mm -hmm. But I can move. Mm -hmm. I move, move amongst the trees. What do you look like? I'm big. Mm -hmm. I'm big. I think I'm very tall. Mm -hmm. How is it that you move this body of yours? I think I have limbs. Mm -hmm. I have big feet. But they're not feet. They're they're big. They're just big. Mm -hmm. But I can move. But I seem to like to stay in in one place a lot. Mm -hmm. I like the trees. I communicate with them. What do these feet look like that you have? They're big. They're wide. Mm -hmm. They're flat. They seem to be part of the earth. If I don't move, they're part of the mm -hmm. ground. But when I make effort, I can move them. What does the rest of your body look like? It's big. Mm -hmm. 
What's it made out of? It's mixture of the wood and the mm -hmm. stone. Very good. So let's find out what happens next. I'd like for you to close that scene and open it during the next phase of your evolution. What happens next? I'm a protector of the trees. Mm -hmm. I think I always was, but I, re I know that now. Mm -hmm. I protect them. I help them. What do you use to protect the trees? I shield them. Mm -hmm. Do you use your body to shield them? I think it's my energy. Your energy. They're strong. Mm -hmm. They don't always need me. But there are times when they need my energy mm -hmm. to help protect them. We are part of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's close that scene. And now let's go to the next appropriate scene in either that lifetime or another lifetime that has caused some impact, some, in, some changes. Be there now. Where are you? It's dark. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What kind of darkness is this? Indoors or outdoors? I think it's outdoors. Mm -hmm. Use your it's, it's, it's dark, but it's a sense that I'm not alone. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's around you. I'd like for you to illuminate that space. And let's see where you are. Where are you and who's with you? I think I was inside of something and I stepped outside. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. I can see around me. What do you see? Use all of your senses. Seeing trees. Mm-hmm. Seeing empty land in the distance. Mm-hmm. I think there's things around me. I think there's where I am there's people. Mm-hmm. But I'm looking out into the horizon. Mm -hmm. In this place where you're looking out, do you feel that you have a body there? Or are you an observer? I think I have a body. All right. Let's take a look and see what this body looks like. I think I was inside of a teepee or hut or something like mm -hmm. that. And there was no light. 
So look at your body. Use all of your senses. What is your body like? I have feet. I have feet. Very good. I'm barefoot. Mm hmm. Are these male or female feet? I think they're male. Mm hmm. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely with that body, being able to see very clearly what you're wearing what you look like and describe yourself to me my legs are thin mm-hmm my legs are thin thin they're red they're they're brown but they're red mm-hmm they're very brown but they're so brown they're red I'm wearing something just covering my leg to my thighs covering my half of my top mm-hmm what is this covering made out of it's skin mm-hmm What else do you look like? My hair is long. It's black. I think I'm an Indian. Mm hmm. How old do you feel there? 30. Mm hmm. What do they call you? Mondo or Rondo? Mm hmm. It's Mondo. Mm -hmm. When I see the name Mondo, Ma Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. Mm -hmm. So Mondo, what is it that you're doing there today? It's peaceful, but I. Anticipate the peace won't last. Why is that, Mondo? I'm sensing that there's something that's not right. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what happens. Mondo, I'd like for you to close that scene and move forward to where what you're anticipating becomes reality. What do you see? They're here. They're here. Who's there? There's another tribe. Mm-hmm. What is this other tribe doing? They think we're weak. Mm-hmm. Because we don't fight. Tell me more. You want to join with us? How does that make you feel? I know it's not right. Mm -hmm. They're warriors. Why do they want to join with you? They're in battle. Mm -hmm. Our numbers are large. We are not warriors. Although we can war, we are not warriors. What are you? We are earth keepers. 
We are the keepers. What does that mean, Manda, the keepers? We maintain the earth. We we protect and we replenish. We plant. We love the earth. We love the. We love the ground. Mm -hmm. And this other tribe does not. They're conquerors. Mm -hmm. What role do you play there, Mondo, in that tribe? I'm among the leaders. Mm -hmm. I am not the chief, but he trusts me. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a seer. I think I've, I'm the seer. Mm -hmm. I'm who they go to for direction. Mm -hmm. And I warned them before they came. I told them of these warriors. Mm -hmm. So what happens now? What do you see now that will happen? We try to tell them of other ways to solve their issues. I don't want to say this, but I think his name is Shaka. Mm -hmm. He's Shaka. Mm -hmm. I'm telling them that they don't have to do this. It's not necessary. He's filled with anger. He's not bad inside. Just to rest. Just to rest. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? A light safety device has been activated. Please stand by while trained personnel investigate. Further information will follow shortly. Thank you. He's so angry. Shaka so angry. He's been hurt. Mm -hmm. May I have your attention, please? May I have How your have attention, they hurt please? Him? A light safety device has been activated. His mother was taken. Please stand by while trained personnel investigate. His wife is taken. Further information will follow. They were taken. Who took his family? Another tribe. Mm -hmm. So what is the reason he wants this war now? He will not stop. There is no end. He won't stop. He was not born a warrior. He's not a warrior. But they have made him one. He's... He's changed into something. So as a seer, Mondo, do you see this through him? Yes. Mm -hmm. You see his soul. I plead with him to remember who he is and the people that he has to lead. He's so angry. He's so angry. Mm -hmm. So what happens? What happens, Mondo? He realizes that what I say is true. In his heart, he knows it. But it's like a... It's 
like something he started and he can't stop it. Mm -hmm. His warriors want to war. They won't be satisfied until blood is shed. How is that affecting you? Our people are very peaceful and we surround them with love. Does that help? Does that help him as you surround him with love? It does. Mm -hmm. How do you send that love to him? The motion is already there. Mm. So we can't turn back. Mm -hmm. He wants our forces to join his, but we refuse. We tell him that it's not good and the outcome won't be good. That he'll lose much more than his mother. He won't heed the warning. I know that he'll turn his warriors against us if I don't help. So I have to help. I have to help. So, in order to save the many, I have to give him few. What does that do to you? We give him some of our great warriors. He knows it's not the best. We mostly give him trackers mm -hmm. to help him find the place he needs. He knows we're not killers. And I think he resigns himself with the deal that we made. Do you go with him, Mondo, or do you stay? I stay, but because of who I am, I go with my troops in the heart. Mm -hmm. What does that do to your heart? It drains me. It drains me and it weakens my place and my tribe. They don't understand that the choice that I advised was to save us. That what I saw, if we went against Shaka, he would massacre us all. So for some time they don't trust me. What happens next, Mondo? Shaka's army is vast. He just lacked the skill and the tracking. And I gave him that. And he left without harming us at all. And this is not what Chaka does. He doesn't leave anything behind. So I saved many lives. Mm -hmm. Very good. But I lost some very valuable life. Mm -hmm. They never returned. But I knew they wouldn't. You made a big sacrifice for the rest. Yes, we had to survive. Mm -hmm. Do you feel responsible for their lives? Yes. I know it had to be done. They did well. They did well. They saved many of Shaka's troops and even him on occasion. But in the end, they too. Mm -hmm. 
So, Mando, I'd like for you to close that scene and now go to the next significant scene in that lifetime. An important scene. Where are you? Wars are over. I'm old. How old are you, Mando? The wars are over. I think I'm in like seventies. Mm-hmm. What is your role in the tribe now? I've been restored. Mm-hmm. I am now the teacher of the seers. Mm-hmm. I share my knowledge and my experience with them so that they may take my place. How does that make you feel? Good. Good. They're good. Mm -hmm. They will do well. Very good. So, Manda, let's now go closing that scene and go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See yourself there. Tell me where you are. I'm in the teepee of the chief. Mm -hmm. There are lots of people around me. They're crying. But I'm not sad. There's no pain. Have you chosen to end your life now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. As you look back at that life, what was the purpose and lesson of it? To be strong mm -hmm. and stand even in the lacks of Shaka and say what I know to be true and say what I see. And believe it, mm -hmm. and know it to be true. Did you learn anything about yourself in that life? Yes. That I am that seer. And I have to be that seer. Always. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, Amanda, take your last breath in that lifetime, allowing your spirit to release from that body. And as you do, tell me what happens. Where do you go? There's light. There's so much light. Bright light. I don't fight the light, I just <sighs> relax. How does that light feel? It seems to have a gentle pull to me. Mm -hmm. It's a gentle pull. What is this going up? Mm -hmm. Where does it take you? Floating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I see Shaka. Mm -hmm. What does Shaka laughing. say to you? He's laughing. He says we're in this together. Mm -hmm. I did the right thing. He needed me to turn him around. Mm -hmm. Did he ever turn around? He did. Mm -hmm. He did. And he made changes that I didn't know about and that I did soften his heart. He laughs at me. <laughs> he says, I'm so serious. Mm -hmm. But I can let it go now. Very good. 
So allow that to just let go. And let's see what happens next. Who do you see next? light mm-hmm. it's gathering around me tell me more some sort of adjustment is being done mm-hmm. what is this adjustment for Make it so I can understand mm-hmm. better. So once this adjustment is made, let's find out what it is that you need to understand. So I can hear. Is someone talking to you? I'm being called. Mm -hmm. Where do you go? The light went away. Now it's coming back brightly. Mm -hmm. And I'm being able to hear a voice through the light. What does this voice sound like? So I'm, I did well. Mm-hmm. That I can release the heaviness that I carry. Very good. May I have your attention, please? Allow yourself to release. Thank you. Release all of that heaviness. So I can, I can go forward. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to go forward to the place where you plan the life of Cassandra. See yourself planning your that attention, life. Attention, please. May I have your attention, please? A light safety device has been activated. All right. Please stand by so while close your eyes for a moment. Further information I'm going to go will ahead and shortly. touch your Thank shoulder. You. You'll be able to come back now. And when you get back, you'll go even deeper. You're doing very well. Eyes open. Mm-hmm. You're doing great. Beautiful. We're now planning. The lifetime of Cassandra. Connecting with those that will assist you in the planning phase. So look around you and Mm, see. There's a table. There's a table. And there's, um, I think, four or five Mm -hmm. people sitting there. Coming towards the table. What are these they're, people? They're in white. They're they're all in white, and I can see faces, but not not faces, but where their face should be. Mm-hmm. They have a hood on their heads. Mm. Some are sitting. There are three, four sitting, and maybe three behind them. Mm-hmm. How do you feel in the presence of these? People. Mm-hmm. Not afraid at all. Mm-hmm. Um, it's almost like I've been there before. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like I'm coming like in a movie theater and they're, the movie picture is playing already and that they're there. Mm-hmm. And as I come down this aisle, you know, there's seats before them. There's two seats before them. And I'm just being drawn down to the seats before them. There's no talking or telling me to come in or anything. I just 
feel it and I move toward that space and I'm sitting and it almost seems as if the table vanishes mm -hmm. and we're all just sitting there they're like in a semicircle around me and not around me I'm at the middle sort of they're just around me. Mm -hmm. so as you're connecting with them let's find out about the planning of this incarnation the next one is Cassandra may I have your the attention please may I have that are your being attention, discussed please. A life safety device has been activated. Please stand by while trained personnel I'm investigate. I'm saying that I'm Further information very will follow strong. Shortly. That you're you. strong. Mm -hmm. That I can do some very important work. Mm -hmm. Are they suggesting the work or are you volunteering for the work? I think they're. May I have your attention, please? I think I'm very willing, but they're a life safety telling me been what they want from me. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is Further that they want from you. Why you. is it that you are going to become this new being, Miss Cassandra? What's the plan? I think I have lives to touch. Mm -hmm. To turn directions. May I have your attention, please? Oh, that I encounter. May I have your attention, please. A life safety device has been activated. I think I've please stand by while trained done this before. Mm -hmm. Further information will follow Where I shortly. make a Thank difference you. in the course of actions okay. by my presence and my intuitions. Mm -hmm. Seems that there's a there's stagnation where I should go to. Mm -hmm. Do they show you make change? Mm -hmm. Do they show you where it is that you're going to be living? Do you know of this ahead of time? They say that I'll have a guardian there. Mm -hmm. Who was this guardian? It was my Uncle Fred. Mm. My Uncle Fred. My Uncle Fred. And what is Uncle Fred supposed to be doing for you? He just made me stable. Mm -hmm. When I didn't feel like I fit in. He made me stable. As a young, young, young child, he was older. He was leaving as I was entering. Mm -hmm. And it's something about his touch, something about his voice that was always so soothing to me. Let's find out how you know Uncle Fred from the other side. Who is he? He's a god. Mm -hmm. He's a big, big god. He's he's towering above. Mm -hmm. He's a he's a god. Did he choose to come into this incarnation to help you? I don't think that was his only purpose. Mm. But I think he remained until I was in place. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out what are the challenges that you will be having as this lifetime as Cassandra. He gave me tools mm. to keep me stable. Okay. To focus myself so I wouldn't be lost. Okay. Good. And I did that. Good. Were there any challenges that you knew above about beforehand? I think I just thought I was coming for the help. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I would have so much learning of my own, my own experience. Mm -hmm. I think I was focused on what I was going to be doing to change others and I the 
changes in me were sort of a surprise. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the purpose was of this lifetime. What was Cassandra supposed to be learning or doing in this lifetime? I saved lives. Mm. I touch lives. Mm -hmm. I change people. Mm -hmm. How is it that she changes people when she is so introverted and shy? and stays away from most people. How does she change them? I bring the unexpected. Mm. The very thing people don't expect is what I usually bring. Mm -hmm. Even in my introverted state, I sometimes speak Big illumination. Mm -hmm. Where is this voice coming from? This voice of wisdom. It's from the other side. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if Cassandra is on the right path now that we understand what she came here to do, to help people? Is she on the right path now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is she supposed to be doing? She wants it to be faster. Ah. But the pace is good. Mm -hmm. How is it that she's supposed to be helping people now? She's been studying all sorts of th things. And this time is right. Mm -hmm. She'll know. She'll know. Now you showed her a lifetime of Mondo, the seer. And Mondo basically said that he will always be a seer. How is she using that power now? It's blocked. Why is it blocked? In the early time, years, mm -hmm. it frightened her. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what frightened her. Would you allow her to go back there so that we can unblock and allow her to use her full power now? So I'd like for you to go back there to find out what caused that blockage? One was sent to help her open more. It frightened her. Mm -hmm. It was too quick. Mm -hmm. And she saw too much. She saw beyond the veil mm -hmm. and saw a dead person in the mirror. Mm -hmm. How old was you then? Six. Mm -hmm. So her abilities as a seer were activated at that age. Oh, well. She was so frightened mm -hmm. that she blocked, mm -hmm. blocked, blocked. Didn't want to see, didn't want to see. So would you allow me now to go back to that little six-year-old Cassandra so we can talk to her? He left me alone. Mm -hmm. Who left you alone? My mom. Mm -hmm. And my dad. Where'd they leave you? At home. Mm -hmm. 
I was all alone. And she came. Who came to you? She made me see. Mm -hmm. She made me see. She kept yelling and telling me that I could see, and I didn't know what she meant. Mm -hmm. And she kept yelling. Who is this that kept yelling at you? She was our neighbor. Mm -hmm. She was our neighbor. We were in New Orleans. She was a seer. What did she tell you? She said her husband was in the house with me. That I shouldn't be afraid. That I was afraid. She told me to turn and look in the mirror. That I would see him. And what did you see? I saw him. Mm-hmm. It was scary. So I'd like for you now to look at him in the mirror again. And I'd like for you to talk to him and ask him why he's there. Why is he in there with you? He wanted to help. Mm-hmm. What did he want to help you with? I was lonely. Mm-hmm. Because your mom and dad weren't there. And I was scared. Mm-hmm. Now, can you understand that he was there because you were afraid? You needed someone like a dad to be there to help you. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he didn't hurt me. He didn't hurt you. So is there any reason for you to be afraid no. of those? No. Mm-hmm. He wanted to help. But I was so frightened. Mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't, I, I just didn't understand. Mm-hmm. And her yelling, it, it frightened me. Mm-hmm. She was frantic. And it, the energy in me, mm -hmm. it raised it so high that I was just so afraid. All right. So I wanted you to take a deep breath in, and let's speak with adult Cassandra. Adult Cassandra, what would you like to tell this child who's so afraid? You didn't need to be afraid. They are both there helping you. She was helping you, too. She wanted to love you. She never meant to frighten you. She was called to do what she did. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Little Cassandra, do you believe what adult Cassandra is telling you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now let's take a look at that third eye of yours that you shut down. Are you ready to... Open it now, understanding that you can breathe with that eye. You don't have to hold it tight anymore. Go ahead and open that eye. Feel that, sweetheart, how nice it feels. And now, take a deep breath in. And adult Cassandra, I want you to go ahead and hug this little girl. Give her all of your love. And I'd like for you to grow her up now. Grow her up. Put your third eye onto hers. And allow yourself to grow her up until she's as big as you. And feel the sensation of that pulsing of that eye. As she becomes you, and you become her. And allow that eye now to continue to pulse and bring in information as it was meant to be throughout all of your lifetimes knowing that this was a gift and tell me how that feels good very good so now that Cassandra's eye has been opened how can you help activate that, in, that eye so that it will help her help others and help her fulfill that purpose that she's on in this lifetime. I hope
be her voice. It'll be her voice. How can she use this ability now to help others? We will give her what she needs. Very good. But she says that she still has some major fears of animals, of flying. What are these fears? Where do they come from? She created them. Mm. Self-protection. She did. Does she need to have this self-protection anymore? No. So show her where she created this. Take her back to that moment when she created these fears. How old are you? Eight. Eight. What's happening? Are you inside or outside? I'm outside. What happened? Too many dogs. Mm-hmm. Too Who's, many dogs. Whose dogs are these? My grandfather's. Mm-hmm. There may be twenty. Mm -hmm. There are puppies. There's big dogs. There's little dogs. Mm -hmm. How do they make you feel? I love the little ones, and I'm in fear of some of the big ones. Let's find out what you're hearing from those big ones. Some of them are very bad. Mm -hmm. Why are they so bad? They're used for protection. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you? They scare me. Mm -hmm. They don't hurt me, but they scare me. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to connect with those dogs now. Mind to mind. Budge and Joe. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you? He's protecting me. Mm -hmm. What does he tell you about the dogs? They are protection. Mm -hmm. They weren't meant to frighten me. So do we need to grow up with that fear of dogs anymore? No. No. So allow yourself to let it go now understanding that in their doing their jobs they frightened you and sometimes adults can do the same thing they could be so overprotective that they scare the people around them but inside they have good hearts don't they yes yes very good so let's find out what other things scare cassandra Let's find out where the big cats are affecting her. Let's take her back in this lifetime or another lifetime where the fear of cats was created. What's happening? Where are you? I'm outside. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm not me. You're not me. Where are you? Open, this dry space. Mm-hmm. It feels like, almost like a desert. What's going on there? I think I am the cat. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female? Female. Mm-hmm. What's happening with you? What do you feel? I'm big. I'm really big. Mm -hmm. There are lots 
lots of cats here. Mm -hmm. What kind of place is this? We live here. Mm -hmm. What's going on? There's seems to be a there's some kind of a battle. Mm-hmm. I think the males are fighting. Mm-hmm. What are they fighting about? I think it's the females. Mm-hmm. We have cubs. How many cubs do you have? I think I have two, but they're all mine. Mm -hmm. We have many. I think we have eight or ten. And do the males live separate from you? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a battle for who's going to lead. Mm -hmm. And who's going to take the females? Mm -hmm. I've been with all of them for my whole life. But this male that the battle is with is new. He's from another place. Mm hmm. Can you see this cat's eyes? Yes. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes? Have you seen those eyes in any other lifetime? I don't think so. Okay. I don't think he's bad. It's just, this is what they do. Mm-hmm. How does it make you feel? We're accustomed to it, but this seems to be a fierce, more fierce battle than mm -hmm. normal. So let's see what happens. I think that I am the... I don't know how to say it, but I think I am the higher female mm -hmm. and if he wins this battle I will surely die along with my cubs it's the way I won't be able to be trusted you don't have allegiance to him no. None of us do, but because I have been with the tribe for so long, mm -hmm. attention all guests, I could attention not all change. guests, this I is your fire safety change. director. Mm -hmm. Please could disregard change. the alarms and the sound that you hear. Again, this so is your happens? fire safety director. Please disregard the alarms and the sirens that you mm -hmm. How many are involved? Four. Mm -hmm. Are you He's watching? He's defeated. He's defeated. He is defeated. He's defeated. But the fear, knowing that the next battle I'll probably not be one. Mm -hmm. So I leave. When this battle is over, I leave with my cops. Where do you go? To the... Just alone. Mm -hmm. To try to... Just... We have to survive on our own. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens to you. Close that scene and go to the end of your life in that lifetime and see what happens to you.
it's hard, but my cubs are growing. Mm -hmm. They're almost at their maturity. How does that make you feel, knowing that you saved them? Very good. Very good. Very good. But there'll come a time when they will have to make their own survival. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure I've taught them what they should know to survive against other males. They are males. You've taught them to retreat, haven't you? Yes. And they can feed. They can run. They can climb. But you're and peaceful. They're strong. Mm -hmm. They're very strong. Very good. So let's close that scene. Let's leave that lifetime behind. And I'd like for you to tell me how that lifetime is affecting Cassandra now. That's why she has the fear of having any offspring. Mm -hmm. Why she won't be able to protect them. Mm -hmm. And why the fear of cats? Yes, because cats can be very bad. Mm -hmm. Very vicious. Does she need to have that fear anymore from that lifetime? No. Understanding that this is something that happened? In a totally different life, does she need to drag this around anymore? No. Allow yourself now to disconnect from that life. Understanding now why you held this fear deep inside. Go ahead and release that. Very good. Is there anything else that we need to address today regarding fears in her life? and why she is not motivated at this time to move forward. What's keeping her back now? She just doesn't believe mm -hmm. that her path is her path. She has to get to the knowing. Mm -hmm. She doubts. So as her higher self, what is the truth? She's always known. Is she a healer? Yes. Mm -hmm. What should she be doing to proceed as a healer? She has to be out amongst the people more. Mm -hmm. Not retreating? Yes. Mm -hmm. Her work is done, no matter where she is. It's being done. But it's time for it to move forward. Mm -hmm. So how can she develop more confidence, more love, more compassion? in this healing work? She's gaining strength. Mm -hmm. She's gaining all the time. And today she saw herself as a leader of a tribe, a seer. Can she understand that this is part of her? This is who she is. Yes. How she could how can she connect with the abilities and the confidence of the seer? We have led her to the drum meditations. Mm -hmm. She has to do more of that. So more drum meditation. Yes. Okay. Good. 
How often should she be doing this? At least monthly. Monthly, okay. What should she be doing in between? Her meditations. And balancing. Mm -hmm. And grounding. Mm -hmm. Daily? Yes, and breathing. And breathing. She cuts off her breath. Why does she do that? It's fear. And mm. fear, she stops her breath. So today we worked on a lot of those fears. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do you see her breathing in the future, now that she understands where all this came from? Much better. Much better. She tells me she's afraid of flying. Is it the actual flying, or is it the people around her? It's the people. Mm. It's the vibrations. It's the... It's the sharing of the energies. Her auric field mixes. And sometimes it's not comfortable for her. Mm -hmm. So how can she learn to discern this so that she doesn't have to worry about flying or any other place where there's a lot of people? She has to accept it. Mm -hmm. It's working both ways. Okay. It helps others. So, and it helps her. So her auric field is actually helping others while yes. she's there? Yes. Mm. How does that work? And that's why she feels like it's something that's hurting her because it feels draining. Mm -hmm. It feels unnerving because she doesn't understand it. So is she do doing some sort of a, of a auric surgery? It's spreading mm. and sharing it. It's mixing. Okay. And becoming. Will this continue in her life? When needed. Mm -hmm. She can learn to calm it. Allow it mm -hmm. and draw it back. Okay, so she needs to learn how to use her her uh, energy field, play with it. Yes, and learn how to use it. Yes, mm -hmm. and when it starts to cause discomfort, draw it back. Draw it back. Very good. Kind of like a auric yo-yo. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So can she think of that? Can she visualize that as she's feeling discomfort to bring that yo-yo back into her own body and breathe? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she fears that it'll be drawn completely out of her and not come back. What do you say about that? It's not possible. Okay. It's not possible. It's hers. Okay, good. It's hers. It belongs to her. Now, when she's doing her Reiki and all of these new skills that she's acquired? Does she need to do anything to protect her aura then? Yes. She does this. She always grounds and protects herself mm -hmm. and brings the shield. She brings on the crystals. Mm -hmm. She asked for the protection from above and her gods, but she doesn't bring that to her regular life. Ah, so she's missing that in her regular life. She thinks it's only to be used with her work. What do you say about that? No. It's for her as well. Mm-hmm. Good. So... This, all of these skills that she's using, how can she best help others with it? She 
you will be healing in a open environment in a center where she will work with other healers mm. Does she know about the center already? No. No. She is beginning to feel that a healing center. She gets those messages, but mm -hmm. she doesn't know how it, when it's, what it is. And it will happen. So is she supposed to be opening up a healing center or will she be joining one? She will join, mm -hmm. and then she will branch out to help others, create others. I'm turning to stone. Mm -hmm. uh, I gotta, I'm so warm. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Oh. So I'd like the higher self to go ahead and begin regulating the temperature. So she, does, so she doesn't turn to stone. Oh, yeah. Just take a deep breath and allow yourself to go oh. to sleep even deeper. Deeper and deeper, that's right. Very good. And when we started this session out, you showed her a mountain. What was the significance of this mountain and her turning into stone in this mountain? To confirm her crystal land being. Mm hmm she is not just working crystal she is more part of the crystals mm -hmm. was she part stone is that what she was yes. Nima? Mm -hmm. yes is that why she doesn't feel her name is correct yes because she actually goes by the name of Nima? Yes. Is that a name that she should start using, perhaps? To identify herself? Or perhaps her Maybe work? to herself. Okay. So that she just knows that's her name. Okay, good. Could she perhaps use that in a business name? Yes. Mm. Yes. Good. And um, she asked whether hypnosis is another uh, way that she should be working. Or should she be focusing on aromatherapy and... Massage therapy or things like that? She may do some hypnosis, but it will be in a lighter manner. Okay. She may use it to help others when other methods are not working as well. Okay. So she will learn about it. Good, good. What about where she's living? Is she in a good location? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she feels like she's, she may be stagnated there. She senses that we will be moving soon. Okay. But for now, it's right. Good. And now that her third eye will be open, will she be able to see clear as the seer that she is? When yes. the right is time. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Now she wants to know where she's from. Is she from this planet? No. No. Where's her home base? Show her a picture of it. What does it look like? Octarian, Octarian. 
Victorian. She's from Actorius. Not sure if she's from there or she just likes it there. Mm -hmm. But she's very much connected. Okay. There. Is her soul group from there? Yes. Okay. And how can she communicate with this soul group? She doesn't seem to have found her tribe. They communicate in her dreams, mm -hmm. but it's hard for them to get through in her mm -hmm. waking. Why is that? Has she shut them off? Much chattering. Mm. What's causing this chattering, please? Let's do this body scan now and find out what all this chattering is about. Who's chattering? Her entire body should be light. Where is there no the light? legs are so heavy. Uh-huh. Let's find out what's in the legs. Let's bring up that energy from the legs right now. I'm bringing it up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Who are you there in the legs? Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What is your name, please? Joe. Joe. How long have you been there, Joe? Long time. Long time. How old was uh, Cassandra when you got there? Young. Young. Very young. Mm -hmm. What made her so vulnerable that you were able to get into her legs? Fear. Mm -hmm. Joe, did you ever have a body yourself? Yes. Yes. How old are you? 20s. 20s. What year is it, Joe? Where is the year? Is it for you? 16. 16. 16. 40. 1640? Joe, what happened to your body? How did you die so young? I was hit. What hit you? A train hit you. A train. What part of your body was hurt? My legs. Mm -hmm. Did your good legs get? I couldn't feel my legs. Mm -hmm. So after you left that body, where did you go? She was lost. Mm hmm. She was near the tracks. She was lost. Did she allow you to join her? She was begging for help. Mm -hmm. And you helped her? Yes. How have you influenced her all this time? First I helped. I mostly was quiet. Mm hmm But I helped when she was afraid. What did you tell her? That everything would be okay. Mm hmm When did things start to change, Joe? Fear 
start to grow. Mm-hmm. Did you cause that fear? Some. Mm-hmm. As she grew older, I was afraid she wouldn't leave me. Mm-hmm. So what did you do? I had to make her need me. You had to make her what? I had to make her need me. Ah, so how does she need you? When she's scared, she needs me. And she calls on me. Mm-hmm. And what do you do? I give her strength. Mm-hmm. How is it possible, Joe, that you can give her strength when you yourself are in such need? I was strong. Mm -hmm. I was very strong. If you were so strong, Joe, why didn't you go home after you lost your legs? Why did you hang around here? I thought I was gonna live. I couldn't feel my legs. But I thought the rest of me was okay. Mm -hmm. Joe, you ready to go home now? Yes. All right. Joe, look inside of you and find that God spark. It's right by your heart. It's a light that may be dim, but you'll see it there. And start making that light bigger. And tell me how that feels, Joe. It's good. It's very bright. And I'll make it even brighter. Make that light take over your entire being. Your entire essence. And tell me what happens once that light reaches your toes. Feels good, doesn't it? Is this what you were looking for, Joe? This feeling? It's better. Mm hmm. So let's make it even better, Joe. I'd like for you to go ahead and begin pulling your essence out of her legs. Pull it all out there and go ahead and replace. There's so much. Mm hmm. Pull it all out. You don't need to be there anymore. You're completely light as a feather now. Pulled it all out. And as you pull it out, begin replacing that heavy, dark weight in her body with that light that you are reflecting from source. How does it feel to help her now, Joe, with that light? Good. Good. Very good. What would you like to tell Cassandra after doing all of this to her all this time? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath. I in. wanted to help. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Cassandra, what would you like to tell Joe? I love you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to let him go? Yes. All right. And I'm forgiveness for you. I know you did it with your highest intention to help. And it did help. Very good. So take a deep breath in. Joe, go ahead up through the top of her crown. And as you exit, you will see Archangel Michael there. He's waiting for you. Tell me what he looks like, Joe. light. Very good. Bright light. So I'd like for you to go with him straight back home and tell me who's there to greet you. My family. Very good. Joe, Your mother. <laughs> Give her a big hug. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Joe. Thank you so much. 
And I'd like to ask Archangel Raphael, the healer, to go ahead and begin sending his beautiful green light into her legs, completely sealing all of the area where Joe was, making it light as a feather, feeling the difference as her legs get completely full of that green light. And I'd like for you to tell me if there's any other influences that are in her body, or was Joe the one with all the chatter? There's more. There's more. Where are they? In the back. In the back. How many do you see? There's one. There's one. Very good. So let's bring that influence up. Bring it up, 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 up. And you can express yourself now. Are you male or female? Male. Male. What is your name? Jasper. Jasper, how old are you? Mm, I'm 40. 40. What year is it for you, Jasper? Mm, 1930. 1935. Five. 1935. What happened to you, Jasper? What happened to your body? Uh, I can't. Killed myself. You killed yourself. How did you kill yourself? Jumped from a window. Jumped from a window. What? Where did you land? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't think I hit the bottom. What happened? I moved. You moved. You left your body before it. Yes. It okay. So yes. where did you go? I was floating. Mm-hmm. Just floating. And how did you find Cassandra? It's like a pull of a magnet. Mm-hmm. I floated. It seemed as if I was going toward darkness. Mm -hmm. Something was gently pulling me. When I got nearer, I realized I could stay. Mm -hmm. So you've been using Cassandra's body? Yes. Mm hmm How has she been feeling you? I don't give her very much physical pain, but I'm afraid she'll figure out how to get rid of me. Mm hmm So I don't let her communicate. You don't let her communicate with other people? Uh, not other people or with any light or any... I, I, I don't like it when she meditates. Mm. I don't like it when she tries to clear her mind to nothingness. What does that do to you, Jasper? It weakens me. Mm. So I sing in her head. What do you sing? I sing songs. I sing songs that she likes. Mm -hmm. And it distracts her. Jasper, what is it that you're so afraid of? I just want to be with her. 
Do you know this woman from another life? I think so. How do you know her? Who was she to you? I think she's my child. She's your child? I think she's my child. Let's find out. Go back into that lifetime and tell me who she was. She was my little girl. Mm -hmm. And what happened to this little girl? Why did you have to follow her into this lifetime? She died young. Mm -hmm. I loved her. We had a special bond. I loved her. But she was taken. Mm hmm. Who took her? She was. She was taken. Mm hmm. Now, Jasper, how old was Cassandra when you found her? I think she was 10 mm -hmm. or 11. Did you ever get involved when she was taken? Yes. Were they the same people that took her before? Yes. Mm-hmm. What did you do? We got away. Mm -hmm. We got away. So do you realize, Jasper, that you've already saved her? You already did what you needed to do in this lifetime. You saved her from those same people that took her before. Don't you feel that you have accomplished what you needed to accomplish? Yes. Can you live with that now and understand that you need to go back home? Because as an attachment to her, you can't help her anymore. You just want to protect her. Mm -hmm. Well, in order for her to, to be protected even better, Jasper, is for you to come as a guide, not as an attachment in her body. There's a difference. Right now, you're just serving as a parasite. As a guide, you would be divinely guided. Wouldn't that be better? Yes. Mm hmm. And you'd have help. Right now, all you are is noise in her head. Are you willing now to detach from her and go back home so that you can be trained and come back as her guide? Yes. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Cassandra, what would you like to say to Jasper now, the understanding that he was your father and wanted to protect you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready Thank to, you. Ready to let him go? Thank you. That was such a hard time, and I never knew how I got out of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you ready to let him go? Yes. Very good. Yes. Take a deep breath in. Jasper, go ahead and begin pulling all of your influence from her body. <sighs> Pull it all out. Don't leave anything inside. And I want you to go ahead. Once you're done, go up through the crown of her head. Archangel Michael is right there waiting for you. He's going to take you straight to the place where you need to go to learn to be your guide. Let me know when you see him. Yes. Very good. Light. Who's there waiting for you? My brothers. Very good. 
Jasper, may the light of the universe accompany you always. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to ask again Archangel Raphael to go ahead and send a beautiful healing green light through her body, spreading it, allowing that light to heal all of that area where Jasper was attached to. Let me know when he's done. Mm, very, Still pulling. Very good. Still pulling. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and pull everything out. No. Very good. Thank you. She says she has um, issues with her chest. She feels a pain in the upper chest. What's going on there? Was that anything from Jasper or Joe? It was. It has been healed. Very good. Thank you. And what caused all the marks on her legs? It's her soul group. Her soul group. What are they trying to tell her? It's the mark to show that she belongs. Mm. Was this mark done to her on purpose? Yes. She did. Okay. And does it need to stay there? Yes. Okay. Anything else that you would like to tell her about any other issues she's got in her body today? She's been changing. Mm-hmm. And her body's growing stronger. In some places where most would be growing weaker, she's growing stronger Mm -hmm. because she is to have work requiring the strength of our body. Mm -hmm. So she is becoming stronger. The things that was dress was causing a lot of her issues, those have been mm-hmm. removed, and now the body is realigning. Good, very good. And now, I'd like to ask the higher self: Is there anything else in her body that we can work on today? Her skin, her allergies. The allergies, the skin was coming from Joe. All right, very good. Jasper. Good. And one of the things that she's working on now that she would like to have more information on is her time of birth. She needs to do this for her astrological charting. Would you show her the clock, please? 3.45 p.m. Okay, very good. 3.45 3.45, her mother was taken in at noon, and it was 3.45. Very good. Very good. Now, we talked about her name already, the vibrational name for her. What about color? What's her best color? Green. She knows it. She knows that. All right. Good. Good. She says she's green. Mm-hmm. She always she's said that many times today. <laughs> that she's green. But she's saying it in a bad way. Well, I think because she doesn't realize that it is a good thing. Okay. But it is. It actually is soothing. And mm-hmm. it's like a, like she thinks it's a shield, but it's actually a soothing zone that she puts herself into. It's like when one goes into the heart, Mm -hmm. when she feels threatened or she feels that energies that people are not accepting or understanding, she goes green. And that's because it's soothing, (laughs) calming, and it makes her 
unaware of those feelings well, just for the moment it takes her away well we've been using quite a bit of green today <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, the last question I have for for you today is about her finances will she be able to now have enough finances to work in that healing center to uh, start her crystals business yes we await her beginning the process wonderful everything will become as it should wonderful good and why did you bring her here today she had to know that it's real and that what she's feeling and the messages that she's getting are real mm -hmm. she wants to shake off her head and say oh no can't be can't be mm -hmm. why me I'm not good enough why would anybody pick me to do it there are much better people than me but we want her to know that we sent her here because she is the one and because she is good enough and the best one for what she will do she had a very hard beginning so that she would be strong for this ending mm -hmm. without the childhood traumas and the young life traumas she would not be the force that we need now and she is even though she doesn't know it yet she is very strong very good do you have any information or tips or advice for me today? You should continue along your path and bring more and more to the light and know that your work is reaching so much further than you will ever, ever imagine that as we shift your work will be twofold on both sides that in the old earth your work will continue to flourish and bring others to the light in their own time and on the new earth your work will help to stabilize and help those newly awakened so you must continue on and be strong in your convictions to continue but also don't neglect yourself thank you very much are we complete today yes thank you so much right away feeling wonderful all over I have tears you do happy tears I never I, I told people I don't have tears anymore <laughs> I have tears you do <laughs> lovely tears <laughs> Wow. It's amazing. What a session. I know. Wow. Shaka Zulu. Shaka, boy. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Oh, my Lord. How long do you think this session was? Oh, it just doesn't feel like very much, like 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah, about mm -hmm. 20, 20 We're minutes. We're almost on uh, two hours and 18 minutes. Oh, my God. Where have I been? <laughs> With Shaka, <laughs> I, I suppose. Oh, Unbelievable. He was huh? so vivid. Mm -hmm. He was so vivid. I felt so sorry for him. He yeah. was in such a tormented position. Yeah. That once he set off that role, he couldn't stop it. No.
No. Even though he realized that yeah. it probably was futile, it was just too late. If he had not, they would have killed him and yeah. moved on. Yep. So. And uh, But then when you saw him in the afterlife, it was like, yeah. oh, okay. And he was laughing at me. He was saying, oh, you're so serious. You know, it's no big deal. You know, it's, that's the way it was supposed to go. And Yeah, you see that um, everybody plays a role. Yeah, and I was afraid of him mm. in that time because even as a seer, I knew he was so powerful. Yeah. yeah. He was so powerful. And it, it was just like a blink of an eye. I could have said any wrong thing. And it would be off with your head, mm -hmm. you know, and they would have just warred over our people. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had to finesse, yeah. finesse my way. And I had to convince the chief and that, no, they could only do what he, you know, pretty much what he asked. I was able to keep the numbers down and give him what he wanted. So he did he a great job. On. It's it's like I mean my legs were turning to stone. Yeah, let's that's that's do do you feel those? Do you feel them? Please. Feel the do you feel that? Super hot. Let's I got at everything. one time I felt like I, I was gonna have that you know, they say combustion, like people like burst into flames. I, cooked some eggs on I bet, I bet. I felt like all of a sudden I was I was turning to stone, my legs were beginning that to was be Jasper. Yeah, they were being and be like a stone and then how I was they, how do they feel now? They're relaxed. They're now they're like spaghetti. I don't know if I can stand on them because they're like relaxed. But and I got so hot, I thought I was gonna just explode. And then when you said something about please adjust the, mm -hmm. then everything just started to cool off. And I, you know, I got Amazing. back. But it, then I was like, something about me was saying, "Have you lost your legs?" <laughs> and I kept moving them to say, "Are they there? You know, are they really there?" <laughs> And I, that's why I was twisting to say, what can I control that? them? And I could control them, but I could still feel the, yeah. the stiffness. I was a mountain. I was a mountain. Who's a mountain? Amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah. We don't understand that we are everything, yeah. that we can be anything. When I was looking out at the mountain and you were saying, can you see like where you are? I didn't realize I was looking at me. I was looking at me. I was the mountain mm -hmm. and I was the when I went inside I was inside of me mm -hmm. And it was just the weirdest experience well, when I got near the mountain. It was like I Kept saying you know, I guess my other mind was coming. In. I kept saying why am I here? You can't climb up it It's like so steep and <laughs> it's like this and there's no like it's like it was almost like a pyramid But, but with right shivers on it and when as I came through and I heard your voice and you said come Just go on and get mm -hmm. nearer and closer mm -hmm. all of a sudden I was on the other side and I was just feeling the light and seeing the light mm -hmm. Then the door don't know why the door was there mm -hmm. But the door was there That's amazing and as I got to the door, remember, it's like you do these stupid things. It's like I'm looking for the handle and the keyhole. And I was like, there's <laughs> no handle. You know, there's no handle on the door. Uh -huh. And it was an oval door. Yeah. And as I got near it, it just like I went right through That's it. That's amazing. So. so is this something you want to share or you want to keep private? If it's anything that you think would be of any help to anybody, I am perfectly want to share. That's but great. if there's nothing in there, then we don't bother. But if there's right. anything there that's willing or you know needed to share, let's we'll do share. that. Let's do that because it's I think it's so. Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. So this was an amazing <laughs> session. It was, it was. Ah. <laughs> and I'm holding here. What is this? Tiger iron. Tiger iron. Some people call it Muggle stone. Right here. Muggle stone. And what is this for? Healing the healer. Healing the healer. So this is healing me. Yes. So after sessions, before sessions, it gives you that protection. It's a protective stone to totally protect you from anything that comes in with other people. It's not always good, positive or negative, but you don't want any. You don't need any That's of it. That's wonderful. Right. Thank so you. So it protects everything. And you don't have to always hold the big one. You can put a few little ones in your pocket. Uh -huh. And then as you travel, all of that, it helps to protect you from these energies that might want to jump in and out. So for all of you out there who are healers, this is the stone. Tiger iron. Tiger iron. Yes. It's so, a mixture of tiger's eye, hematite, and jasper. Good. So, so it's grounding. So how is well. it that you know all this stuff? I am an advanced crystal master, 
So crystals is pretty much my life. I study them. Mm -hmm. If you saw my house, you wouldn't know if it was more people or crystals. It's more crystals. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something so, that you're going to be getting into now. Yes. And what other things do you do? I am a certified uh, aromatherapist, so I work with essential oils. Mm -hmm. um, I do tuning with tuning forks. Um, a lot of there's, stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So, and I make my own products. When I do find that there's something that you need, I mix and make my own products with all natural ingredients that um, don't have anything harmful, no, ba no bacteria, no preservatives, any of that. So I will make something specific for you for your situation. Wonderful. Everybody always asks me about these stones, and Cassandra brought her own stones with her. <laughs> She used, she used no, actually, okay. other, she brought her own cell and I, she brought her own shungi, and she gave me this so I can heal myself. So how was the session for you? Beautiful. It was wonderful. It was my first time being hypnotized, uh -huh. so I didn't have anything to base it on, but I was very open, being that I've been waiting uh -huh. for three years. I've been like kind of sitting and, and waiting and preparing myself. Yeah. But um, it was it was great. It was easier than I thought. I thought I was I thought I'll be the first one that she won't be able to get through. And but this session was amazing because this hotel, the sirens were going off. Oh, yes. The and fire she, sirens. The fire sirens. <laughs> the the I'm sure people had their ear eardrum blown out if they were hearing headsets <laughs> but um, the, all of this noise was going on and you kept yeah it would it would like I'd hear it at the beginning very lightly and I'd open my eyes but then it would just fade back fade back fade away fade back. so for those of you that say oh you know if it's gonna be too noisy out oh yeah, this no, session no, yeah this proves it proves it that sh hypnosis is not about sleeping it's not about waking you up you can be in the middle of a fire drill, <laughs> of a fire drill, and still be hypnotized. So yes. we learned a lot. How do you feel? I feel really good. Every minute I'm getting lighter, and I just feel happy. I, I wasn't happy when I came here. I don't think I knew happiness, mm -hmm. but I really feel happy. I can say. Wow! And so this is, is worth it. Uh, amazing to me. This was worth it. Miracle. And Cassandra's appointment was, was changed so many times. I mean, I knew her name by heart now because we <laughs> changed her from one month to another month, to, and finally, we're right now in Atlanta, Georgia. And we had her scheduled for Miami. We changed her around a few times because of personal issues. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna go see. <laughs> I want Cassandra. I want to see her in Georgia. So when I came yes, to Atlanta, we booked you. So. You know, that's why I try to see people where they are. And it worked out exactly yes. when we needed to, to work out. To work yes. out. Yes. So it was great. Yes. So it was great. So would you like to give anybody some tips on how to be hypnotized, what, to prepare, how to prepare themselves? I would just say to try to relax. Don't stress yourself too much mm -hmm. before you come. I did listen to, to the, the uh, recommended yeah. um, uh was it, is it sort of a... It's a relaxation video. video. Yeah, I did yeah. listen to the relaxation video a couple of times, but mostly, especially the days coming up, I just tried to relax and not stress myself and not have expectations. That's that's the thing. You know, I tried we, not to expect anything. I just wanted to know what I was supposed to know. And it was great. I, I thought it was yeah. fantastic. So if you would like a session with me, Go to albowineman.com, click on the out of town page, sign up for my newsletter, and when I go to travel somewhere or in Miami, I will send you the calendar, the links as to when I'll be having sessions, and click on those links right away. Now, how are people going to find you? I will be putting out a Facebook page very soon. Actually, I have one. I'll be opening it up, and yes. I'll, be, I'll put it out, and I'll let Alba know as well. Yes, and her name is Cassandra. Yes. And maybe Nima. Maybe Nima. <laughs> now that she knows that she's a mountain. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed yeah. this session. I certainly did. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Bye. Bye. That's Ooh. great. Ooh. Great.